I looked at our local data of children less than 12 years of age who have been infected with COVID-19 from the 1st of October 2021 until the 16th of January 2022. And we saw 14,380 children with COVID-19. The rate of severe COVID-19 infection in children or having a severe complication after COVID-19 infection is not trivial. And it's important for us to note that while infections in children are generally less severe than in adults, the infections are not mild. The children who need oxygen treatment or ICU care range in age from less than one year to nine years old. All were unvaccinated. Now, with the National Vaccination Programme, three out of four of them would have been eligible for vaccination. And this reinforces the need to better protect our children against COVID-19 and the risks of a bad outcome. We've launched our vaccination programme for these children between 5 and 11 years of age, and we have seen a good take-up of vaccines so far. KK Hospital has shared its interim results from their study on the safety and efficacy of COVID-19 vaccination in children aged 5 to 11. All, f all of the first 50 uh, children that they reported vaccinated with the lowered dose of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine demonstrated a very good neutralizing antibody response. After the first dose, uh, they demonstrated 64% uh, antibodies against COVID-19 at 21 days later, and this increased to 96% after the second dose. This demonstrates that the primary vaccination cause is effective in these children to stimulate the immune system to protect them against COVID-19 infection. The interim results also showed that the vaccination was safe. There were some reported reactions to vaccinations amongst these children, but they were all minor. They comprised local injection site pain, redness or swelling at the injection site, headaches and body aches, fever, and a small number of minor allergic reactions. None of the children needed medical consultation or hospitalization due to these reactions. Separately, the Health Sciences Authority has released its latest safety up update yesterday, looking at COVID-19 vaccinations in Singapore from the period until the 30th of December 2020, from that period until 31st of December 2021. So it's a full 12 months of data. And in the age group between 5 and 11 years, there were no reports of confirmed ser serious adverse events occurring after vaccination. So when we weigh the risk of our children getting infected with COVID-19 and the risk of them getting a severe infection or late severe complication despite recovering from the infection, and we weigh that against the protective benefits of the vaccine and the lower risk of a side effect from the specially designed pediatric formulation of, this, uh, of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, the balance of consideration strongly supports letting our children between 5 and 11 years get their, uh, getting their vaccine.